A caregiver's curfew. Two hour curfew. Two hours. That is about all the time that I take away from my mom. And it is not two hours each day away from my caregiver responsibilities. It is that I only feel comfortable being away two hours whenever I am away. And it is not really that often. Two hours is just enough time to catch up with my friend Shirley, who I see about every six weeks or so. We usually grab a cup of coffee and chat. And about 90 minutes into our time together, I begin thinking, I should be getting back to my mother. And so I generally turn about two hours after leaving. Two hours gives me enough time to hang out with one of my coolest cousins every other Friday. We have tried to establish a routine where we get together on Fridays. My cousin understands what I'm going through being my mother's caregiver, mainly because she hears about it for two hours every other Friday. And so being the good cousin that she is, she makes a point to get me out as often as possible. Two hours is also enough time to have lunch and gossip with my auntie. That is always a good time. However, we've only managed to get together a couple of times during this whole time that I've been a caregiver. The thing is, it may sound easy enough, but it is actually very difficult to find two convenient hours to get away and to coordinate those hours with someone else's schedule. It is also hard to ignore my conscience. Should I have left my mother? What is she going to spill or drop while I'm gone? What if she falls and can't get up? Is she able to microwave the homemade dinner that I have packaged in convenient containers? What if? So as these thoughts whirl about through my mind, I still feel as if I'm home with my mother, even though I may be physically away from her presence. Therefore, actually enjoying the two hours away from being a caregiver is not always an option, mainly because being a caregiver is not a job that is best left at the office at the end of the day. As I mentioned before, being a caregiver is a 24-7 occupation. It permeates every aspect of my life. Although there are a number of things one can do in two hours, there are also many things where it is time prohibited. For instance, dinner and a movie or date night are hard to squeeze into a two-hour time constraint. So as you can imagine, my social life as a caregiver is non-existent. And two hours is definitely not enough time to catch up on much needed sleep. I know that it is important to take time out for myself. I'm just having an extremely hard time figuring out exactly how to do that. I feel guilty about leaving my mother, knowing the possibilities of what mischief she may encounter while I'm gone and thinking about what I may have to clean up when I return. I continually worry while she is home alone. I cannot seem to turn my mind off and ignore my caregiver's conscience. In an effort to take care of me and to be the best that I can be, I do really try to make an effort to take time away every once in a while. I just have a caregiver's conscience imposed two hour curfew. Although, is it really a self-imposed time limit? If my mother calls me after two hours to see how close I am to home,